Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane Speed Show. So, this is about the hydraulic lifter elements, or compensation elements you can find in the M113, M113, and the M113K. Uh, normal respirated AMG engines, all the engines uh, of the same era. So, uh, <coughs> these elements are from the M113K, but it doesn't make really a difference. So these elements you can reuse, but uh, with removing one, I damaged one, so I have to buy a new one. So I also dismantled this completely. But you can see these are the other ones. This is how you find them in the engine. So this one is for the intake. And if you have one like this, you can see it in the light. There's a very small hole in it. This is the exhaust side and this is the intake one. You can see the top side is all the same. And you have two sides. This is the exhaust and this is the intake. So what I'm doing, I only remove it like this. Pull it out. There's a spring and you remove the spring. And this is what I do and I clean this and that's it. Um, you can dismantle them a little bit more. I did it with uh, this one. Normally there is a very small check valve. There is a small check valve in it. But I am not going to dismantle it because you can test if it works or not. I only clean it with a degreaser. Get all the old oil out of it. Put a new drop of oil in it and that's it. So normally <coughs> this is mounted like this. I hope you can see it. Then there is a small ball. This one here. And then there is a small spring that's located in here. So this is like a check valve. So check valve is in there. We can put also the ball staying in there. Look if I can get it back together. This is why I don't dismantle these normally. This is the one that's already broken, so I can show you how it works. This is it. So now it looks the same as this one. So how does it work? The spring is on here. There's a little bit of oil in it. Still in it, I didn't degrease it. And now you can see it builds pressure. <coughs> so you can hear if I pull it that the check valve is working. So normally what I do is clean them, put it back in, a small needle, and I just reset them. I push on the check valve and then it will go in. If you put a little bit of oil in it, uh, I will do it like this. This is how it normally works. Eh? There's a little bit of oil in it. The spring is still in there. It's not possible to get this in. But if you reset the check valve, it will go in. So, and now you can see, now it's solid hard. You cannot press it. You cannot. So this is how it works. But if you leave it like this, you don't reset it, then it's maybe it's too far open already. So you need to have uh, a base setting, so no, almost only one drop of oil in it, as far as down as possible. And that's how you place it back. So if we're now going to reset this one, and leave some oil out of it. You can see if I push it, I can push it inwards more. But now it's coming up, so this is the resetted setting because there is the spring is inside. But you can see there's oil in it, so it's now rock solid. 
So for example, here is now not that much oil, this is also rock solid, but if I empty this one completely, so no oil in it, put a spring in there, put this one in here. You can see I can move it, it's coming back, because there's air in it. So, you have it like this, and this is how you mount it back. So you need to clean it, get all the oil out of it, that's it. So, if you have it like this, and, it will not in this, and you can push it in and it will stay like this, then you have a damaged... Uh, hydraulic element and you should replace it. So this one I damaged it when I removed it so this one cannot turn over freely like this one. This is how it should work. So what I'm now going to do, I can dismantle them all. I leave this check valve in there, I never remove it because it's a very small spring and you can just test it. So it's not really needed. So I leave it in there, I just degrease it and that's it, because you can, there's a possibility that you damage something and you have to buy a new one, they cost like 15 euros a piece, yeah, it's not needed. So I'm going to take them all apart, I clean them with degreaser and then I'm going to put them back together. So got it all cleaned, um, can put it all back together so there's no oil or anything on left. So these top ones are all the same. So now you got a difference of course what is said about the intake ones and the exhaust ones that have a small small hole. You can see it. This one not so. This is an exhaust one. I've got another one over here. I have to order a new one because I this one I damaged. So I'm getting a new one for the exhaust. You can see here a small spring with a check valve that's mounted just like I showed you before. I would not recommend taking these uh, out, out of each other, so I would not disassemble the check valve. I just did it to show you what's inside, but the other ones I'm not doing it. I just clean them with a degreaser and blow them clean with air and then you can check them. And you can just push the ball into the spring and it will leave the air out or the oil out and if you uh, and it can let oil back in <coughs> but for the installment you need to reset them so push as much oil out of it as if it's that is possible if you not fully disassemble them so in this case there's no oil in it so if we should take uh, this one for example I'm going to put some oil in it, just a little bit. Um, you put a little bit of oil on the top here. You put a check valve. We put a spring on there. I'm going to do a little bit of oil on the sides. So, and we can now just insert it in here. Now you can see it's already working. So you can still see the spring is still on there. Now I will help it a little bit to get it in the reset position. You can hear the air is going out. So this is the position of the spring. So this is it. This is ready for the installment. Now we get the small plates that need to go in here. So I hope you can see this. A little bit of light. You can see the plate in there. This is how it should be installed. You see the three stripes towards you. This is how it should be installed. So, <coughs> you can put this over here. So there is a small clip in here. 
that will hold it in place there's not a line in there down there so just like a small piston ring and I want to call it I use an 8 millimeter socket it will just fit over it and you can just help it a little bit to go inside there it is going that's it so now it's installed and now you can see it's still moving up and down that's because there is not <coughs> the right amount of oil in there but if you start the engine for the first time you will hear some clicking and knocking now and noises till the oil is in here and it will fill up the lifter up to the right point so this what you now see is just pushing on the spring that's it this is how you should install it uh, so now it's this one is ready for uh, getting back into the car so that's it this is also the same for the ml 13 case or the ml 12 uh, v6 engines it's all the same so if you've got any questions about this topic leave some comments below or ask me in the comment sections of course don't forget to subscribe to the page have a look on my website the link is over here jamespeedshop.com have a look put the thumbs up and I uh, hope you liked the video. So see you for the next one. Bye bye.